Battles of the Go for StarCraft Monday Premium Edition, sponsored of course by CM Storm. It's about here in the lower right corner of Newkirk Precinct. It is none other than Millennium's Gosu user. And his opponent, another Zerg in the lower left hand corner from Mouse Esports. It is Hope. Now, a small cool thing to note for this game, guys. I believe Hero Marine's also competing in this for some. Definitely some uh, mouse sports coming out today, but uh, Hope actually just recently took uh, victory in the Zotac not too long ago, and Ghost User's been popping up in a lot of these online cups recently. Not a really? player. Yeah, I mean, like, you never saw him do Zotacs or go for StarCraft. He was just training the Millennium House, so I don't know if he's just got spare time on his hands or if he's ready to blossom. Either way, I've been a fan of Ghost User for quite some time. I'm very excited to see how he does today. Definitely be interesting. I'm, I'm not sure though. He joined Millennium. Did he go over to Europe? Yeah, he's been in uh, the Millennium House for quite some time. I didn't even realize that. So that's pretty cool. Probably also why he's participating in tournaments like these. It makes more sense for their sleep schedule. Although right now is kind of a nice time. Yeah, it's that, that perfectly awkward mix on like a Monday morning where you're like, hey, well in North America it's the middle of the day, in Europe it's Friday evening. It's that perfect time to host some StarCraft. <laughs> I actually have to trim my sounds up a little bit. I don't know why they are so low. It feels like they're low. There, hopefully that works. And uh, I gotta adjust Ordi's volume too because I forgot Skype restarted. Are you gonna say something, Ordi? I'm sorry, I was trying to listen into the volume there. Well, it's fixed now. So fear not, guys. We're all sorted and ready to go, or sorted and ready to go. Good this was kind stuff. of an impromptu, hey, it's the quarterfinals, let's hop on and cast type of cast. <laughs> Now, be that this is a ZBZ, luckily we have not missed too much in the early game. There's been no 10 pool, no all in. Uh, both players go for the expand. We have uh, yep. Hope going for the pool first, trading up that uh, difference. Again, pool first is just kind of that slightly safer opening, but on a map like Newkirk with this giant rush distance, it's mm. kind of negligible. Yeah, but he does go with the gas first, so that's interesting. Might indicate an earlier speed, wants to put some aggression on. We'll see if you can apply that. Ghost user is someone I can say is pretty good early game control. Like, there's different tiers of Zerg players, and while someone might win every single macro game, it doesn't necessarily mean they're good with the lings or the main lings in the early phase. And Ghost user is one of those guys who's very good at handling his lings. Oh, goodness. Goodness gracious, and you're a fan of him. Hmm. I don't know where we're going with this analogy, Riff. I was just stating, I've seen him several times in the past. Ghost user. Pretty good with his link control, but Hope, you know, he's been making a splash on the scene. We'll see. Maybe he's perfected his aggression to the point where he can just overpower and uh, can outrun his opponent. Definitely interesting. Especially in a best of three, I'm surprised. I'm always surprised. In a best of three mirror matchup where neither player goes with some kind of cheese the first game because it's a perfect way to open up, really. get to still test the metal of your opponent while also potentially gambling your way into a lead. Uh, then again, it's kind of nice not to have to come back to force yourself into that kind of a situation. Uh, right now, though, we do see essentially even drone count, the main difference being two Zerglings are out on the field for Hope. Oh, and a Baneling Nest as well is followed up here, so that speed uh, looks like an in-game difference of about 45 seconds. So there will be an opportunity potentially for Hope to get some harassing done. He's got these two Zerglings that are walking up the ramp here. Do scout the fact that the hatchery is down. See the queen side. They really shouldn't risk it, and that's a good choice. It's really difficult to gain an advantage off of the speed when there's only this small of a time difference, and a large part of that is due to the map rush. If Hope already had, say, 15 Lings sitting outside, Ghost User's base ready to run in, maybe you could try and do something with that. But the reality is there'll be Banelings on the field, as long as both players are paying attention, I don't think either is going to suffer losses or really gain too much of an advantage, but... Oh my goodness, I want to point out Ghost User going for a pretty early third base here. Not exactly entirely risky because it's the closer in base, but it is a target here for Hope to try and take down. Definitely, and Hope's able to see it because he's got that Overlord in position, and Hope's even going for the early lair off of two bases. This is interesting to me. Uh, Ghost User also getting that early-ish layer, but a little bit behind his opponent. Hope might try and make the transition into... Actually, without taking that extra gas yet, I'm going to hold the phone. I was going to suggest yeah. maybe Mutalist, because he's he's on purpose sacrificing his third base here. Like, some responses to this are, hey, I'll just throw it at my own third base, I'm good to go, but 
Looks like Hope is absolutely going to try to punish this with a small handful of legs. And there's only four on the field right now for Crusty Users. There's actually some five blocks at the particular second, so that's no good for him. Hope actually looked like he wanted to pull back there for a second. I was like, wait, that's only two lings. What? Yeah, and there are some banelings. If he does oh, this correctly, nice. he can eat the banelings. Oh, maybe. Possibly. <laughs> Queen gets involved. Ah, oh, there is still one baneling left over. Oh, terrible trade there for Hope, actually, on the yeah, second well, one. It's not exactly terrible. Two lings for, or sorry, six lings for two banelings. Not a terrible trade, but not a good trade by any means. But coming now across the field have, with round yeah. two, man. There are a lot on the way, but really Ghost Fuser is going to be okay because he's got the Roach Warren uh, out already. He's got Will Reconstitution on the way and some Roaches that he's producing. So even if Hope is able to somehow take down this hatchery, Ghost Fuser will stabilize. And here are the Banelings rolling on in. Yeah, both players oh, coming in. Banelings on Banelings! Oh, that could have been big if Hope had detonated right there. He would have taken out all the Banelings and the Zerglings, but... Oh man, now the Roaches are out. Can he get enough drone kills? Some nice spreading here out of Ghost oh, Fuser, but not nice. enough! How many? Six workers killed. The hatchery still stands, though, and that's what's the really tough reality for Hope to re uh, deal with. He's there going for Spire. Supporter. They do get one more drone. They're surrounded on Queen, and they get it, and then they get out. Very nice. Yeah, but Ord, we got that Spire coming out. The biggest scary thing about the Spire is the timing in which it comes out, because a lot of times the Roaches will be in your base before you can pop Mutalisks out. Hope, by being aggressive like this, while he's not causing game-ending damage or true economic damage, he's keeping Ghost of User at home, and another Queen goes down in the natural. Oh, he's going to have no anti-air defense whatsoever. This is quite rough. Queen in the main might... I don't think, it should, I don't think it'll go down, but it's going to be weak, and that's the problem. 50, 49, 50 life left on that only queen that's going to be on the field for the moment. More queens obviously in production. Spore crawlers are pretty quick to build and roaches are pushing out. So Hope will probably have to keep his mutilus at home to defend. And yeah, makes that choice instantly right on top of the roaches that only really have a spine crawl in front of them. Now some zerglings are getting involved, but roaches take forever to die against unupgraded mutilus. Yeah, not a whole lot of damage really being done here for either player. I mean, it's hard for Hope to clean these up. I mean, he will. They're getting low, but Ghost is going to snipe off a couple drones before he gets out of there. Yeah, and the big story there, too, is that back home, six Spore Crawlers are going to finish up, and these Mutalists could have arrived before any of them were done, but now they don't get that opportunity. Instead, Hope is going to do what he can. He's going to pick off a couple of overextended Overlords, and then he'll go in to start harassing. Level 1 flyer upgrade is on the way. It's over halfway done, and ooh, we have pathogen glands as the response for Gosu user. Pretty good thing to use in Fester's wood fungal against it's, Mutalus. It's really difficult to catch those Mutalus, though. If you do catch them, it's kind of, hey, I, I almost win the game, but it's very difficult. Look at them clump up board. I mean, just one fungal can just ruin everything. And they're going to poke around, look for that opening on their way in. There are a decent amount of Zerglings out here on the map. And actually... I really like the way Ghost User spread his roaches out. We look at this, there's no way for Lings to just flood in. Like, Typically, you'll see a player with Mutalus hover around, say, the third, distract the opponent, and just run into the natural with Lings. But Ghost User has spread his army out very effectively, hugging these four crawlers until those Infestors pop. Yeah, and here come Mutalus swinging around from the bottom. They are looking for an opening. They will probably be able to take out this extractor. Actually, maybe even a few drones for free. Hope trying to find that perfect sweet spot. Yeah, he's, picking up quite a f he's picking up quite a few uh, workers. He's going to kill nice. the queen with splash damage, too. Oh, so nice there in the end. And Ghost User needs that gas. He wants it. He wants to build infestors. He's only on the three bases right now. And oh, the second gas. Can it get the fungal? Oh! Oh, just barely nice misses dodge it. by Hope. That projectile speed, man. <laughs> now the scary thing is, Ghost User still has to worry. There's Ling sitting up here towards the north. They're not exactly going to come in and auto win the game, but they are a huge threat to the mineral line. And now this queen being very bold. <laughs> Ghost User cannot afford to keep remaking the queens like this. And we have a split up now. Here come the Mutalis around the oh, side. No. Oh, the Hydralis Den. That would be he very nice. He cannot afford to bro. lose this. There's nothing. There's one queen to protect it. Can he transfuse? No energy. Yeah. Oh, that is Infestors rough. Infestors arrived just a moment too late. Hope with some fantastic control so far. Uh, Ghost user immediately laying down that next hydralist enemy. Oh my god. Seven queued up. Or look how many roaches are on the field here for Hope. He's got just about as many as Ghost user does. 
29 to 31. This is not going to be good. He's getting investors picked off by these mutilists. So harassment. So good is the control here coming out of hope. Oh, man. If any of those fungals do land, just like you were saying, Riff, it's bad news for hope. But as long as he can continue to dodge that, it's not really a big deal. And there may be enough Roach Bane to just push through without the mutilists even being involved at this point. Bad news bears indeed, Ord. <laughs> <laughs> now, actually, I really like the choice to incorporate Banelings with this. The Hydras are going to be very difficult to deal with, but the Banelings can just roll in and get those connects, Ord. Oh, man. It really can. Ghost User making kind of a bold choice right now. He's going to try and go up and set up a fourth base, but hopes all over that. He's going to find it. And at the same time, the Ghost User moves his army up. Hope moves his army down. Oh, he's going to catch a lot of roaches here. Good Bungle keeps him from getting into the mineral line. But he's got to be careful Banelings with this attack on the side. Hydralis. Oh. Nice fungal on top of the Banelings. That's huge. He needs one more on him. Yes, he gets it. And that may be enough for Ghost User to survive oh, but this. But the Banelings are still Banelings rolling left. in. Oh, 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 some of them do end up blowing and up. There's a few more coming in from behind. Ghost User does have defender's advantage right now. He's got 19 roaches. 21, 22. Be enough. About to pop. The Hamutalists are still here picking up the Hydras in the back. Ghost User just got some very low health ones remaining. A couple of infested Terrans come out. It's a little pitiful, but that's all he can do for the time being. He's got away from these Roach reinforcements. <laughs> the Hamutalists oh. target down the Hydralists immediately. There's only a couple infested Terrans and Spore Caller that's not even burrowed right now. The Mutalists are just having their way. Oh, a few of them actually taking unnecessary damage oh, there. Gets two of them on the way out, so a really nice repositioning on that Spore Crawler. Ghost user, though, took some very heavy losses there. Not in terms of units, but he lost the Infestors. He's only got a couple left on the field at this point. In fact, not even. He's only got one left on the field at this point. And, it, man, those Fungals, he needs them for the Roaches. The, uh, he had some great control there. Like, as, as you exclaimed, the Banelings <laughs> getting fungled was huge. He did maintain a lot more of his army due to that. But Hope, man, he's taken a fourth behind this. He's got that map control. Ghost user can't really move anywhere. Really can't. He's trying to set up that fourth base at the top again. Hope of cutting that off with the Mutalist. Really well done. So Ghost User is going to decide to expand towards his opponent. You know, this, up there's really not a lot of situations where I would recommend a Zerg player ever making Mutalisks after the first round of them, but he's been so effective with his Mutalisks this game. I would really love to see Hope replenish those forces. It actually would be interesting, but so far he's actually investing in his own infestation pit possibly to go up to hive and finally is setting up his fourth i'm surprised that he didn't do that a little bit sooner and now Ghost we have Ghost user. user he's got that plus one advantage over his opponent on weapons will it be oh. enough oh the roach is going right for the hydralis oh, got him to the throat the middle so nice a little fungal there but it's not as effective against roaches as it is against no, other here stuff. come so the banelings they're gonna connect it. with oh, everything oh, roaches hydralis everything and actually, Ghost User, with such a nice spread that he didn't take as much damage as I thought he might, but he does have to retreat here. Hope, I don't think, can pursue this. The Banelings are doing their job, though. They're killing every single Hydralisk on the field, so Ghost User is left with just Roaches. Now, for the time being, he's got that advantage, but in about 40 in-game seconds, Hope and the Ghost User are going to be on even ground. They really are. I'm looking for this Hive to get started up any moment now. Honestly, with hope floating above 700, about 500 minerals pretty regularly, Ghost User now doing the same. Need a player maxed. I gotta be honest with you, I don't see this game getting hive tech for either players. This is gonna be a lot more roach trading. You cannot afford to take that investment and invest in 3 3 weapons when you, when you need the extra 14 roaches on the field. I don't know if one of them is bold enough to and defends well. well we've got Ghost User stuff. coming back with more infestors, something I've been kind of hoping he would do eventually. Because the fungal growth, while not critically big, it doesn't exactly destroy roaches like it used to. It's still a lot of area of effect damage, and it locks armies in place. True enough. Finally I have level 1 ground carapace on the way. And 18, no, 26 bane lanes coming for hope. Jesus. I think he plans to roll them in. But this is the kind of scary thing, Or Look at the resources lost at this point. It's very even because of the investment in these bane lanes. Ooh. If, if Hope, like, I'm not saying they're bad or a waste, but if Hope was using units other than Banelings, like, let's say he had his own Hydra, or his own r more Roaches, 
His resources lost to look a lot better than it currently does, but coming oh, in from all here sides. We go. Hope swinging in from everywhere. Oh, nice fungal. Fungal's trying to get laid down. Decent fungal, actually. A lot of the Bailey's not able to get past their own roaches. And that's that how the left hand side Hope does manage it. And oh man, it's actually really hard to tell because the reinforcements coming up from Ghost User from behind. Hope it's looking does really have good more. for Ghost User oh, here. Yeah, it is. Now it is. Uh, that wall pumps. of roaches on like hold position at this left ramp was so good. The Bailey's were trying to connect to those hydras and they were forced to go all the way around ghost user with some very superior positioning decisively won that fight but i do want to point out he's going to be behind on upgrades the next time they engage as uh, hope will have plus one armor this is a bit of a posture fight for the time being because i mean ghost user who's been on the defensive all game i'm sure he would love to go offensive but he's got to stabilize his base he needs his fourth base up and running because hope has had this base saturated in mining for quite some time now. Some random banelings detonating there. For hope on his own units. Oh. He's actually going to go with his own hydralis den as well. Yeah, it's about time he started to build this in. I mean, the banelings are a great choice when the mutalisks were still on the field because the hydras have to kind of choose do I move from the banelings or do I shoot the mutalisks? But without the mutalisks on the field as the threat, these hydralis have no fear of those banelings. They can just run the hell away. And Ghost User finally is able to start up that base to the north, and at the same time he's setting that up, he's pushing forward. He's actually almost max supply. Great concave that Hope gets, and he does manage to get hugged in really close up on top of the Hydros, which he absolutely had to do. Transfuse is coming in from the Queens from behind, but Ghost User just has more numbers right now. Hope is losing. Hope, Hope is being smothered, is what's happening. Ghost oh. User didn't give a damn about the couple of the Bailings that crashed into the coaches, and GG is thrown down. Game one in this best of three.